वाहे गुरु वाहे गुरु वाहे गुरु वाहे गुरु वाहे गुरु वाहे वाहे गुरु वाहे चरण कमल आधार जन का रास पूंजी एक तान मान दीवान साचा नानक की प्रभटेक नानक की प्रभ टेक सत्संग मिलकर फते वाहे जी वाहेगुरु जी का खासा वाहेगुरु जी की फतेह सो लास्ट वीक वी लुक्ड एट द बॉडी ऑफ एक दो जी बहो लाख हो है लाख हो वह लाख वीस हमारा स्टार्स टॉक अबाउट व्हाट इज द राइट काइंड ऑफ इच्छा फॉर अस टू हैव शुभ इच्छा केड़ी हैगी है एंड वी टॉक्ड अबाउट द सत भूमिका दैट देयर इज सेवन स्टेजेस used to describe spiritual progress and the first stage is the right desire not just the right desire but to action that desire and in this time at that within the vedantic thought it was ki go to the go to a teacher find a teacher and start to listen to your teacher had the right desire had up the sad sang but guru maharaj just told them the best ichha to have is to do naam japna that even if you had more than one tongue you wouldn't use that tongue to do something other than naam simran you could use it again to do more naam simran or the naam japna hi ka japna hai that's only thing i would do if i had more tongues now the yogi start talking to maharaj in this body the next one the 33rd body because for them they said why guru is a uh, sat chit and anand these are qualities of why guru and chit refers to consciousness so they had a the idea that the consciousness inside me is the same consciousness as why guru so all i have to do is purify my consciousness that makes a lot of sense secure jay can dihe gaye and you become nirmal then the jyot and the naam gets pragas inside you but what they used to do is chant the mantra of so hung so hung means i am that one i am that one but guru sahib has told us what we should do is take the name of why guru ek tu jibo lak ho hai लख हो वे लख बीस लख लख गेड़ा ना आखिए एक नाम जगदीश उस वाहे गुरु का नाम जपिए नो आई एम गॉड पर वाहे गुरु तू तू करता तू हुआ मुझ में रहा ना हूं सो वी से यू वाहे गुरु यू 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 नो मी 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 सो वी आर सेइंग दैट एवरीथिंग इज दैट एग्जिस्ट इज वाहे गुरु देयर इज नथिंग बट वाहे गुरु सो वी ट्रेकिंग आवर सेल्व्स आउट ऑफ द इक्वेशन The more we say you, the more we less we say me. And it's for me. I was thinking about an analogy to describe it. You know, uh, when people climb mountains, and they climb hill and uh, like climbing fame. What you have is two methods. One method is every time you go up a stage, you put a little stick in the ground in in the wall and you hook yourself on. So whenever you fall, you got something holding you up. You know, that means you're climbing from below. from below you helping yourself up but there's always a panga if you climb from below what if your rope is not long enough i know you could get halfway you run out of rope so you're stuck there because you can't go any further there's nothing to hold on to there's no safety what if there's another way of climbing up the mountain that is a rope comes from above and it comes down now the guarantee is that that rope which is coming from above the guarantee is this you will definitely get there you will never be able to be in a situation that the rope is long enough because the rope is come from above you might not be strong enough that's true but the rope the rope is definitely strong enough so maharaj is telling us let's take the name of wahe guru because uche upar uncha na the name is actually above that place we're trying to get to we're trying to get to sachkhand and the pargas the name is even higher than that 
So the name, if we tell the name of Y Guru, it's a guaranteed way of getting to that place. But something we do in life, we try to climb the mountain by ourselves. This is what this body is going to talk about now. We think we can do it ourselves. Manuk will do this all the time. You know what we say in life? People try to do things by themselves. But if they don't succeed, we say that, that they swallow their pride and they ask for help. That's how we say in English. They swallow their pride and they ask for help. Because ultimately the reason we do things for ourselves is, is ahankar. It's a very hidden ahankar. We think, I've got to make my effort. But the I is where we're starting out from. Because we're starting out from I, we're starting from the bottom with the rope that we're putting up ourselves. We're not asking for help from above. So in Sikhi, as we said now, it's about Guru. Sikhi is about the Guru, so we say Guru's name. We say, Guru, you help me get to the top. Now, Guru is that rope, you see, from above. Because Guru is being sent by Wahi Guru. On Shabbat Jalla Paris, again, before I came here, the Shabbat that was being sung, Ki Par Brahm Guru Nahi Ped. There's no difference between Wahi Guru and Guru. That was what the Shabbat was coming up. So by singing our Guru's name, Guru is that rope that's guaranteed to get us there because Guru Nanak was sent by Waheguru. Guru Nanak did not come on his own accord, he was sent by Waheguru. Suni Pukar Dakar Prabh Guru Nanak Jagmahe Pathaya. So for us, if Guru is a rope, everybody needs a Guru, then the, the key thing for us is which Guru? Anansar tells us, Asa Satguru Jemile, this no. If we find such a guru who knows the sat and he can teach us the sat, sat puraka jin janaya satagura tiska nao tiske sangha sik udre nanaka har gungao. So our guru is being sent by Wahi Guru. He is one with Wahi Guru and we should follow his advice. Otherwise, we're never going to get that rope to go from the top. We're always going to be using the rope from the bottom. And it will start off wrong. There's no guarantee that your rope will be We might not get there. Then we're stuck halfway. And we have to come back down again. So, in this body, Guru Sahib is telling us now, what should we do next? How should I climb this mountain? We know the first step is to have the right desire to get up the mountain. But how do I do it? Because you know, walking in a flat ground is very easy. But in this body, Mara talks about Jor. It needs power to go up. Staying on the same level is not hard. Climbing up is hard. So the, the Sids, they will ask Guru Sahib two questions. They will say, Guruji, you tell us now. You said in your last body, Nanak Nadri Paiye. That with the Kirpa of Wahe Guru, we achieve this path. We go up enlightenment. So if Kirpa is the way to get this enlightenment, then what power do human beings have? Do we have the power to act ourselves? Or do we have no power? and everything is written. Very big question. When we say in life, do I have any power or not? Maharaj gives us the answer in this body. Amazing. And the next day also asked Guruji this question, Ki Maharaj, you tell us now, what is Shubh Vicharna? The second Pumika, the Sat Pumika, seven stages, Sat Pumika. The second Pumika is about Vichar. Shubh Vichar. And they say, which is the Shubh Vichar to have? What is the right kind of thinking on this path? If I want to climb up, it's an inner path. It's not an outside path. It's an inner path. So what is the right sort vichar to have? So Mara says, Akana jor, chupena jor, jor na mangan, den na jor, jor na jeevan, maran na jor, jor na raj, maal, man sor, jor na surti, gyan vichar, Jorna Jukti Chute Sansar Jis Hat Jor Karvekha Soi Nanak Uttam Neech Na Koi Jis Hat Jor Karvekha Soi Nanak Uttam Neech Na Koi Maharaj in this body teaches us now that Wahiguru is described as Jor. 
They give us an example. Ki jor, if you think in life we have power, Mara says, in Bani he says, Ki karta sab ko tera jor. Sab ko tera jor. Everybody is using your power. Wahiguru is the power. Everybody is in your power. Guru Adnari Pasha also says, Wahiguru, jan ko prab apne ka taan. The servant of Wahiguru uses your power. Jo tu karhe karave swami sa maslat parvan. Whatever you let us do, Wahiguru, that is the accepted thing. Everybody, the power we have, energy, jor, even himmat kero, why himmat saying is one of the panj pyare, even himmat, these words, they refer to doing something. And Guru Sahib says, that chis hat jor kar vekhe soi. Very important body. Why Guru has the power in his hand? We don't have the power in our hand. That's what this body is saying. In Sukhmi Sahib, Guru Ajit Pasha says, Kaho manuk te kya hoi aave Jo tis paave soi karave Iske haat hoi ta sab kichle Jo tis paave soi kare If it wasn't now a power Guru Sahib is telling you greedy people, if it was in your power, you would take everything there was in this world. You would just do everything. You know, we would grab everything we could if it was in our hands. But it's not in our hands. So Mahara says, Ki, jo tis paave, so he kare. What Wahiguru wants to happen is what happens. It's hukam. Hukam of Wahiguru is making us act. So the themes of this body that come out is firstly, to accept the hukum. To accept the Isari Hatha Jod Nihaga. It's in his hands of Wahiguru. So therefore, we say, Karan Karan Prabh Ek Hai. Dusar Nahin Koi. Nanak Tis Balharne Jal Thal Mehir Soi. We accept Wahiguru is the one who do, who does everything, and Wahiguru is a reason for everything happening. And also, humility. The right kind of vichar includes humility. That we accept, actually, that we have no power. It's all in your hands, Wahiguru. So therefore, we shouldn't think of ourselves as great. Which is why Maharaj says, Nanak Uttam Neech Na Koi. Don't discriminate. Don't point fingers at somebody else and say, Oh, you're bad, you're bad, I'm good. Because it's not our power that's being worked here. It's not our power. So there's no high, there's no low. So we shouldn't be judgmental. In life, don't be judgmental, start focusing upon yourself, Maharaj is saying. Don't look outside, look inside. And the final thing is, if you have no power, if you have nothing that you can do to get this, what can you do? Beg. You can only do is beg. Jaache ke jan, jaache prabdaan. Kar kirpa devo har naam. You know, the jaache is a beggar. The servant, he begs from his Guru one thing. Oh Wahiguru, I beg you of you one thing. Give me this gift. What is that gift? Kar kirpa devo har naam. Do kirpa upon me Wahiguru. I have no power. Everything is in your power. So, first Maharaj says, Akhan jor, chupehna jor. Maharaj is saying to us that we have no power. The main thing is that we have no power to speak. Aak, akhan, aak, najor. Chupeh, najor. You know, in life we say, Oh, I wish I'd said that at that point. I forgot to say it. Mala says, You have no power to speak. Then sometimes we wish, I wish I hadn't said that. I spoil things for myself. We think we're in control, but our life experience tells us. We're not in control sometimes. We don't even have the power or the brains to not say something or to say something. The other way to understand that same line is to say that we don't have the power to say Wahiguru. Sometimes people come to Gurdwara and they might hear people singing Kirtan and saying Wahiguru, but they don't say it. They don't say it. They listen to the body. Ki, Ram, Bol, Ram. Say it Ram, but they don't say Ram. And some people, they hear that bhajan from Wahiguru and they say it. And they don't even know how to stop. 
they're stuck to pay a jawl. To come back to this path, it can be this way as well. That we have the, the strength to walk upon this path, we know, is by saying Wahidu. Yeah? But we don't have, don't have the power to do it, it's because of Kirpa. Jor na mangan, dena na jor. So, we have no power to, Guru Sahib says, to beg. Even to beg for this, Sometimes we don't even know what to ask for. Imagine we get given a gift, ask for whatever you want. We talked about Guru Ram Das Ji, when they were given the gift, and it comes in, What he's been given the gift by Guru Ram Amar Das Ji, Ki Jetha, I'm going to marry you to my daughter. Ask for anything you want. And this is what they say. Har ke jan sat gur sat purkha bino guru karo gur pas hum kire kiram sat gur sanai kar daya naam pargas mere meet gurudev moko ram naam pargas gurmat naam mere pran sakhai har kirat hamri rehras on this path this path we're going upwards only thing i want is naam sometimes we don't even have a sense to ask for the right thing. We get given a var, but we waste it on something that's not even necessary in this life. Guru Sahib tells us in Bani, why are you running after these things when you're going to leave them behind? But we come to Gurdwara, Mahafana Sahasanaji, we come to Gurdwara and we ask for those things that Maharaj tells us are not going to go with you. We say, Maharaj, come with Safata Baksho, give us a big house, a big car. Ask, we ask. Guruji is sab to vat samrat gurudev sab sukh pai tis ki sev Guruji is the most powerful thing on the planet the most powerful thing on the planet and instead from that most powerful thing instead of asking for that most important thing in life we end up asking for bigger house, a bigger car easier mortgage to pay off less stress at work imagine if we ask for Nam like Guru Ram Das Ji did if he was given a chance Guru Bani says, Guru Gobind Singh Ji says in his Bani, Tau Prasad Kabit, He says, Kathu Pikhari Hoi Mangat Phirat Peekh Kahu Mahadan Hoi Kai Mangyo Taan Deet Ho Wahiguru, sometimes you in your form come as a Pikhari and you walk around asking for peak. Sometimes you are the person who is giving, you are the giver. Just as Sikya Hega in this Bani, Jor na Mangan, Den na Jor. Even if you look at Hindu history, in the mythology, the stories, once there was a person called Kumbhakaran, the brother of Ravana. He went to ask from uh, Brahma, a var, and Saraswati had tied up his, his tongue so he didn't have the power to ask for the right thing. He wanted Indrasan, the throne of Indra, and he wanted Indra to be kicked out, but instead he asked for Nindrasan to fall asleep and Kumkaran is famous, he's just fall asleep and he used to sleep for so long when they had that big battle with Ravana 10, 000, a thousand elephants had to walk on top of him to wake him up Nindrasan sometimes we don't have the power to even ask for the right thing things happen to us in Gurbani he also says Ek data, ek pekare ji, sab tere everybody asks from you Wahiguru we think we give, we don't have the power to give we think we're begging we're lucky to be even begging for now. Jor na mangan, de na jor. Then Mara says, Jor na jeevan, maran hai jor. We have no power to live. We have no power to die. Nobody chose to be born. You know? Like we make a house, we decide, I'm going to make this house. Then I say, I'm going to paint it this color. We have choice. We are the malik of the house. We decide what we're going to do to the house. But in this body that we were given, none of us chose it. We had no choice. When we go, we know. After somebody has been injured or they're going to die, they can't live for one second if they, don't want, if they try. It's just not possible. We know these things. We didn't choose this life. We don't choose the way we're going to go. No one knows how they're going to go. The saints know, but they accept it. But the rest of us, we wander around thinking, Ki Asini marna, asini marna, and then, oops, marge. No one knows. When you school, you heard about the day before yesterday in America, 
the parents, they dropped their kids off to school. Who, what they were thinking that day was going to happen? They got a rush, go there, rush back, pick the kids up. They weren't expecting to come back and find that their 20 kids had been killed. We don't have any power in our hand. But we convince ourselves our whole life, he, we've got all the power. The ego is so big, we say we're going to live forever. And there's a funny story about this, because we say every time in Dara Sahib, the ones that read some Pura Dara Sahib from Taksal or from other places, we say ki hara jugu jugu pagat upaya, paj rakhda aya ram raje, har nakas dushta har maria, prahalat raya. It's important to know this story of har nakas and prahalat, because we're saying the Bani, we should know the story. Har nakas was given a var once, a var means a gift, a choice to have something, a boon, ask for whatever you want. Just like Guru Ram Dasi was given that when he was by Jait Haji, what did Harnakash ask for? He tried to be clever, you see. He knew that to be killed, you need three things to come together. The time, the place, and the means by which you die. And he said, let me be clever. He said, I don't want to die outside or inside. He trying to get the place right. Imagine, there's nowhere but that's not inside or outside. It has to be inside or outside. He says, I don't want to die when it's day or night. Trying to get the time out. He said, I don't want to die when I'm on the earth or in the sky. Again, the place. He said, I don't want to be killed by anything which is part of the 8.4 million lives. He also said, I don't want to be killed by anything which is a weapon. All the means he's trying to cover, the time and the place. And because he couldn't be killed by anybody, he made everybody worship him. Ahankariya Nindaka Pithade Namdeo Mukhalaya. Mara says that the people that Ahankari, like this Harnakush was, why do take care of them themselves? He tried to burn Prahlad. He said to him Prahlad, because he was his son, Prahlad was doing Bhakti of Wai Guru. And Harnakush wanted him to worship him. And he said to him, Ki Prahlad, worship me. Prahlad said no. He said, okay, if you worship the one Wahid Guru you say is in everything, then hold on to this pillar, pillar of burning fire, and hug it, and let's see if you don't burn. When Pehlal went up to that pillar, and it was burning, he saw on that pillar a little kiri walking on the pillar. He said, if that ant can survive on that pillar, I can also survive. He hugged the pillar. He was not burnt. Vishwas. We talked about Pardit. Pardit means faith. Biggest thing we need now, Pant right now, is to go back and have Pratit on Antan Guru Granth Sahib Ji. And on that Shabad, don't believe in Deitari Guru Aam. Guru Gobis Ji told us, Ki the body of me is a Guru Granth Sahib Ji. Don't believe in anything else. Because Parcha Shabad Ka. We have to be honest with this Shabad. It's Brahm, Brahm Bani. Amrit Bani Har Har Teri. Sun Sun Hove Param Gat Meri. This is what will happen to us. If we follow this Gurbani and this Guru's Hukam. So, Prahlad was killed by Narsing. Narsing came down. He killed him as a half lion, half man. Not part of the 8.4 million lives. He killed him inside the, on the balcony between the house and the outside. So he was neither inside nor outside. He killed him at dusk. It wasn't day or night. It was at medium time. He killed him holding him on his, on his lap. So he was not even on the ground and he wasn't in the sky. And he killed him with his claws, so it wasn't a weapon. That was man-made. Waheguru came down as nursing to get him out. We have no jor. Jor nam jivan marna jor. When we want to have to go, we have to go. No matter how clever we are, we have to go. Janani sahasyanapa lakhohe ta ik na chalainam. This is important. I keep going at the belly body of Japji side because this is the thing about hukum rajai chalna. This is the main hukum that has been given. Hukum rajai chal na. Chal na. Maharaj is saying chal. Walk on this hukum. Walk on this hukum. Maharaj says next. Jor na raj mal mansur. We have no jor to even control. Raj is king. Earthly mat to be ruler. Mal is money. Wealth. <coughs> mansur means the hurricane inside our mind. We talked about this, that the mind, when it's calm, in the next step of this, when we progress on the seventh Pumika, Maharaj is telling us that we have Sheetal. 
The, the, fu- the hurricane inside our mind gets calmed down. Yeah? The mind becomes like a lake. Mara says that shore, the shore sharaba that's going on in our mind, doesn't go away. Jor Naraj Mal Mansur. We can't control this mental hurricane. Everything comes from these hurricanes of wealth, greed, lobe. So we can't stop this until we find Kirpa. Until Kirpa comes and we get that Naam, we can't control that mind shot. Oh Honani. Why is what Guru is telling us again and again? Then Jorna Surti Gyan Vichar. Imagine two sh- the two meanings of this. The first one refers to our life. Keep, we don't have the power to even have the right mindset. Surti. The right surti. To do what? To do Gyan Vichar. To Vichar Gur Gyan. Guru is the Gyan, but sometimes we don't even have the consciousness to Vichar that Gyan and understand what is it saying to us on a day to day basis. Asi ki karna hai. Today we were lucky to be blessed with some vichar by an amazing Gurmuk. And what he was saying is, Asi sare bani nu, we're just ignoring it as a part. You know, it's like a mantra, Gayatri mantra or Veda mantra. Everybody's reading it, no one's vicharing of it. Vichar hoi ni rea. Yesterday I was at Southampton Gurdwara doing Katha. So Sangaji, if I ask that, that Gurdwara, who can explain Mool mantra to me, then you can have your langar. No one would have had langar that day. Very few people, maybe two or three people would have longer, the pizza would have stayed there. In the old Puratan uh, text that we have, the Kosh, Ikonkarta Art goes on for like five, ten pages. It's so important, so deep. And instead, we just say, there is one God. Four words. There is one God. What condensation have we, have we done to this? What bichar are we doing of this Ik Onkar? There's very little which are happening of the Shabbat because because we're leaving the Shabbat then people are leaving Sikhi because Shabbat is Guru we are not following the Khalsa way of Shabbat Bichar we're doing Jab Eh Ge Bipran Ki Reed the Guru Sahib does not support us there because we're becoming Pandits read the part it's getting read over here but no one's listening to it no one's Bicharing it so Mara said Jor Na Surti Gyan Bichar Remember the next stage, the second Pumika of this Sat Pumika is about Vichar. So this refers to that as well. This is part of Gyan Yoga. This path is Gyan Yoga. Mara says you don't have the strength to do the Vichar of this Gyan, the true Gyan, Brahm Gyan. Not normal Gyan that they teach you in school, Sat, the true Sat, Brahm Gyan. So we need to think the right way. We need to do the right thing. All these things need to come together. It's not about reading part. Jinna part parlo. If you haven't followed this way, walked upon this path, it's gone. It's about vichar. You have to put it into your mind and drill. Onu jinaya. Bani is meant to be lived. It's not meant to be listened to like a like a mantra. It's meant to be lived. So we have to live this path. Then Mara says. Jor na surti, jor na jukti, shute sansar. Why is this come at the end? Because all these things combine. When we say no, when we listen to it, when we vichar it, when we understand we have no power of life and death, then we understand we have to escape from life and death. We're stuck in that cycle, like a hamster on a wheel. We have to escape. And what's the way to escape? Jor na jukti, shute sansar. Jukti means the method. We don't know the method. We don't have no power over this method. To escape. As we say, ki karmi ave kapda nadri mok dwar. Guru Sahib says in the first panch podiyam that the only way to escape this way is by kirpa. Nadri mok dwar. It won't come any other way. Kir, do not try karna karlo. As I say, you can try, but at the end of it, you're going to come back to Guru and you say, ki jachik jan, jachi prabdan. Kar kirpa devo har naam. Guruji bless me please, please bless me. So then Mala says, now nah. Guru Sahib says, look, jis hat jor kar vekhe soi. There's two meanings of this. Very, very interesting. Mala says, if it's in your hand, jis hat jor, if you think it's in your hand, te karke dekha do. Jis hat jor kar 
Kar ke dikhao, you can live after you after your uh, pran is gone. Show me if you can live. Show me if you can choose to die. People have tried to jump off buildings and they've survived. People have tried. One guy the other day got hit by a train in London. 70 miles an hour the train hit him on the head. You would have thought he's dead. He didn't die. He went home. Got a mild concussion. Some people died in those school, some people didn't die. It's like that. We have no power of this game. This kale is in his hands. So first one is, if you have it in your power, show me then. Just how to do it, gotta be care. Who watches? Ve ke soi. Oh why is watching us? Dikado, he says Dikado, if it's in your hands. But the other side is the Maharaj is saying, Guru Ram Dev Ji is saying to us, the Vaheguru is the one where the Jor is coming from. Just how to Jor. The one who has got the power in his hands. Gotta be careful. So he does it and he watches. Not watches like he just sees us, but he dekhdaya, he paaldaya. This means to paalna. He looks after us. So we have to trust as well that Vaheguru has got our best interests at heart. Because if Vaheguru was a mean old person, and you could be scared. If Wagyu was a mean old person and he had all the power in his hand, then maybe you could be scared. But Wagyu is not. See, Wagyu is sa Mehirwan. Sahib Mehirwan. Sahib Mera Mehirwan. Ji Sagal Kodedan. The man says, Tu kahe dole praniya, tu drakhe ga sirjanahal. Why are you stressed? Chill out. The one who's got you, he'll take care of you. So, then Maharaj says, Chisha jor karve ke soi. Only why there is a power? Nanak uttam neech na koi. Gunande Ji says, Oh Nanak, look at this world. Everybody is judging everybody else. Everybody is saying, I am better than you. They are not recognizing where the power came from. No, they have no, no, no care for that. What they care about is, I got the power. I am uttam, you are all neech. Maharaj says in Bani Nasa Diwar, Everybody wants people to bow to them. No one wants to bow to anybody else. If we look at our ego, whether it's on Facebook or physical, whenever somebody says something to us, the ears start burning, they say in English, my ears are burning, they're talking about me. Your ears burn and straight away, what's that burn, the fire? It's ahang. A hunger rog, it comes up straight away, you start attacking back. We have two options, fight or fly. Some of the taxes, the first thing we do mostly is we fight back. Or we run away. If it's too scary for us, we run away. We don't stand at our ground. This is what Guru Sahib is asking us to do. Take the third way. Stand your ground. Don't be hunkari, but don't even cuss someone either. Don't attack, but don't have to defend yourself either. Or be careful. Nindo, nindo, moko, loka, nindo. Kari jao, don't worry, it's fine. But we have to have the mental strength to do that. So, uttam nish na koi. There's many meanings of this. You know, in a couple of weeks ago, we talked about the Wahi Gurus everywhere. This is the Shabbat that we looked at. Sagal banaspat mahe te santar, sagal dood me kiya. Uch nish me jot samani, kaat kaat madho jiya. What it means is that in all the milk, there is butter. In all of the, of the uh, creation, you can burn any woods, any grass, and it will burn. Fire is inside there. There's energy. Why is hidden inside us? Uch, neech, mein jod samani. Inside the poor, poor person and the rich person. Inside the good person and the bad person, there is that light of Wahi Guru. Uch, neech, mein jod samani. And then, kaatil, kaatil maato jiya. The Vahe Guru is inside every single person. So if Vahe Guru's jaw is being used, and Vahe Guru is inside every single person, why do we call people good and bad? Ehi gal banagina. We talked about the themes of the Shabbat. And the main thing was, we accept the hukam. What's happening to us is coming from Vahe Guru. Karan karan prab ek hai. Dusar na hi koi. Even when we say ki, jaw na jeevan mar na jaw, we know in Sukhani Sahib Mahara says, Mare. Rakhe eko aap manak ke kich nahi hat. What's in our hands? What's in our hands? Nothing. Guru Sahib is telling us nothing's in our hands. So, but the thing is, there's a bit of a debate about this now. You know, 
people have said, how can that make any sense? How can it make any sense that we have no power? And Guru Sahib tells us, Aapan hati aapa, aapna, aape hi kaar Mara says, it's in your hands. So sort yourself out. Then also we think, but hold on, there's nothing in my hands. It's in his hands. So why am I being judged? Don't we ask that question? Why am I being judged? The thing is, this is a seven stage process. Right? So when the first person needs to go on to the second, you don't ever jump on to the second step. You start off at the first step. So, although we have to accept that the power, some people have taken this to mean, a little bit strange I think, they've taken this to mean that God has given us power, but we have the power, what to do with it? We give it energy, we have a choice, to follow this way or follow that way. And that is true at the first level. At the first level we understand we have a life. We have to choose what to do with that life. So what do we choose? We choose to follow Sikhi. We have the Shubh Icha, to come to Gurdwara and listen to Guru. But the next step, next step is to get the right Vichar. Now when we start to do this, follow Sikhi, do Simran, do Kirtan, do part, there's a real worry. What can happen next? We can get stuck there. We can't progress. Why is that? Why do we get stuck there? Because we start thinking, I'm doing it. Because the first step was, we thought, Apan hati apana, apehi ka savariye. Just like a mountain, when you go up the first step, you see some distance. But when you go up the next step, you can see even further. You see the truth even more. The first stage of truth is that we have to do something. We have to have shuk icha. The second stage is we realize all of this is why Guru's playing and it's his joy. It's just the same truth, but a higher up's truth. Because this path is not a kind of path where I can lay you out all the truths and you just pick which one you want that makes sense. It's a path of enlightenment. We have to start off at level one and say Wahi Guru, Wahi Guru, 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 Guru Karman Mor, Guru Bina, Manahi Hor. We have to say Guru. And that's why I was thinking this week, you know, this path is about tu tu karta tu hua mujme rehna hu. The first step, say say God's name, say what Ram, Baran, Bar, Bar, Prabh Japiye, P Amrit, E Mantan, Thrapiye. Do it. Say what Guru with every breath. If you can, say Ram, Prabhu, whatever it is that works for you, say it. But the next stage is as we rise up on this path, do not get ego. Because that's where we will fall down. The ego is going to be the biggest step for the Gurmukh to get over. And the ego comes because we start saying, I'm good. Uttam Nich. We start doing that. I'm a Gurmukh. I'm a good Sikh. I follow Sikhi. All of you lot. You don't do this. You don't do as much part as I do. You don't do as much Kirtan as I do. You don't do as much Seva as I do. Maharaj tells about Homme. Homme Nave Nal Viruddha hai. Doina Vase Ekathaya. Mara says next in that same body, in that same Shabbat, Guru Sahib says, Ki Homme vich Seva na hove. I know the exact line. Mara says, Without, with Homme, you can't do Seva. You can't do Pagti. Homme is a hindrance. This, this Jor is not a mental trick. It's not a trick to say, Oh, Mere ve Jor haiga ni, it's all Kirpa. It is the truth. It's don't use it as a truth. Oh, I should secretly believe it's all me. But overall, I'll say it's all kirpa, and I'll just get past because it's all kirpa. It's not some joke, it's the truth. Ultimately, at the highest level, we understand everything is in hukum. It's in his hand. He looks after the world, don't judge. He looks after everybody, don't think you're better or lower. What do we have to do? Let's say thank you. Where we are, it's all because of kirpa. So we have to say thank you. Akirtkana, we talked about how bad it is to be Akirtkana. In this body we talked about Bhai Gurdash, she said, Akirtkana is the worst person on the planet. So to be ungrateful, if we're following Sikhi, we are blessed. Don't be proud of being a Sikh, be grateful. It had nothing to do with us. Guru was graceful upon us. Guru was graceful upon us. Just like we say in, in, that in the Christians, they say, Ki there but for the grace of God go I. If it wasn't for Wahiguru's grace, I would be that niche person. 
But Guruji blessed me, so I follow Sikhi. So I say thank you. Wah, he Guru. Wah, he Guru. Wah, Guru, thank you so much. So, to finish off in the last 10 minutes with the Shabbat, we'll come back to this. The road to get rid of Homme, Mara says in Asa Diwar, Ki Homme Deerag Rog Hai, Daru Bi Ismahe. Why is Homme the worst disease of all? But how come the solution can be in Homme? How can the solution be in Homme to get rid of Homme? This is a good vichar to do. Because the person who follows this path of Guru Nanak, the vichar they have in their mind is, I have no joy. I don't want to judge anybody else. But what do I want? I want to find Vaheguru. It's a personal desire. We finally choose to forget the world, forget the cleverness, forget working out how it works. Trust our Guru and look after yourself. Look after number one. Look after number one by doing Pagti. Guru ki mat tu le Pagat bina bhadu besyane. Forget the sanapa of the world and accept that Guru Sahib has come from above. Guru Sahib is that rope from above. I want to climb up that mountain. I need to hold on to my Guru's rope. I need to say his name. I need to belong to him. Follow his path. And then I will be saved. I don't want to be clever. I don't want to do Syanpa. I need to do Bhakti. I need to say the Naam. This is the way. And that means we say I, I, I. We start with Homme. Guru Sahib, I need you. And then we say you, you, you. Tuhi, Tuhi, Tuhi. Tera hi jor hega. Tera hi jor hega. Tusi karo. Karpar tera parvasa. Tu jan ke hai sang. Gur mere sang sada hai nali. Say the words. Say to Guru, I'm with you. So we're going to sing this Shabbat. And Maharaj in this Shabbat is saying, Ki hum te kich na hove swami. Oh, why Guru, nothing happens from me. Jo ra khot yo I stay in your hukum. Hukum rajai chal na. Madho har 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 muk kahiye. Oh, why Guru, let me chant your name. That's all I want in my life. Let me speak ik du jibho lakho hai lakho ve lakvi. Let me say your name. The first step is to get the right itcha, then get the right thinking and go up this path. Madho har 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 Yeah.
So there's two truths that Maharaj is talking to us about in this body. Maharaj is saying to us, yes, you have no strength. But if you're at level one, or not even at level one, they'll start jumping to level two and start saying, oh, it's not in my hand if I've done something wrong. Because the puppy will use this. They will twist it around and they will say, oh, it's not my fault. I've not been blessed. There's people in a seat punt that will say, Oh, sorry, the kirpa hoi ni hale. Sikhi kamen. Guru Granth Sahib hazar nazar hai. Everything is here for us. We will say, It's not for me, thanks. Such is come. This is the such vela. Kaljug me kirtan pardhana. If you're born in Kaljug as a human being, this is your turn to meet God. Do not escape that truth. If you leave that truth behind, aap pashta hoge. Because everybody's going to get in front of Raj. No one escapes that judgment. So don't start turning away and being that person who says, it's not for me, thanks. It doesn't work that way. The first step is, Shubh Icha. To forget the cleverness of the mind and focus upon saying the name of Wahe Guru. Ki Guru Ji, Nana ki benanti har pehe, apna naam japavo, aap japai jape so nao, aap gawai, so har gun gao. So do benti, beg, 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 beg from your Guru. Jachak jan chachi prabdhan, kar kirpa, devo, hadnam. Let's start with Icha. And then the next step is, don't get ego. Recognize, as you go up this line, everything is in hukam anyway. It was all a gift upon you from that Malik. That's why Malik says, at the end of that body, Nanak nadri paiye, kuri kuretis. Don't start boasting that you've done anything. It's false. The best, the best vichar, is key and Mara says in this ki jor na surti gyan vichar jor na jukti shute sansar jis hat jor kar vekhe soe nanak uttam neech na koi don't look outside say I am the worst person I am the worst person everybody else is better than me so with that Pula Chukha Master Niji next party we are going to go into the third step Mara will give us more gyan about how do we go up this path to enlightenment Sungalla Akaski, we will start to copy. We will start to copy this with Guru's Kirpa. So, Pulchuka Makaniji, Wahi Guruji Ka Khalsa, Wahi Guruji Ki Pate.